begin. I, I, I got to tell you, I love the excitement and the energy uh, that's in this room. It is absolutely incredible and it's exhilarating. Uh, and it's for all the right reasons. You should be exhilarated. You should be excited because this is, this is really an exciting day. Uh, the announcement uh, that we're going to be official in just a few short minutes uh, is a great opportunity for the Wiregrass. It's a great opportunity for Dothan. It's a great opportunity for the state of Alabama to positively impact economic and innovation, uh, not only in this area, but literally uh, throughout the state. Uh, I'm Greg Barker. I'm the president of the Economic Development Partnership of Alabama. And we're a 30-year-old uh, economic development organization. And uh, in that 30 years, we've learned that, uh, uh, that uh, announcements like this are really a celebration, a celebration of a, really, of, of a lot of hard work from public and private leaders that come together to make something like this possible. Uh, and that's exactly what today is. You know, I was, I was, uh, I'm in Birmingham and I was driving down, uh, and I was, I was driving down, I was thinking about the first time, uh, Mayor and Neil, that, that we had a chance to, or I had a chance to come down and be involved in conversations, and it was, uh, feels like almost a year ago, I guess nine or ten months ago, and, and uh, I'm sure they were working on it before then, but it's just so awesome. Uh, when you see public and private leaders come together uh, for the right reasons to try to make a difference for the, the communities that they serve and the citizens of those communities. Uh, and this is a great example of, of what's happening here. Uh, I'll tell you what can do it even better than uh, I can explain it, and that's this short video. In the Dothan area, we not only grow crops and plants, we grow success stories. Our people are the first link in our DNA. The wiregrass matches so wonderfully the kind of the makeup of what Hudson Alpha is about. We're all about the concept of collaboration, people working together, solving challenges because they each bring their own skill set to the table. And Mayor, you know, the wiregrass is packed full of incredibly talented people who naturally look for ways to collaborate, to work together. Yes, it, it brings to mind the word synergy. And I think that that synergy between Hudson Alpha and, and the assets and the community assets, the, the, the people and, and who we are and what we have to offer uh, in, in Dothan and the Wiregrass uh, is a great match. Everyone that we've worked with, farmers, educators, bankers, lawyers, entrepreneurs, um, just the individual people that we talk to are excited about how do we actually strengthen our community? How do we bring new ideas and new technologies to the table? How do we create new jobs? How do we provide education for our students about tomorrow's opportunities? And that fits so beautifully with the concept of Hudson Alpha as a place where people work together to solve some of humanity's most challenging problems. Love Dothan is more than a slogan. It's what's in our hearts. Agriculture has always been a driving force in the Dothan region and has a $70.4 billion economic impact across the state. We offer thousands of acres of farmland and forests, perfect for growing a wide variety of crops, including peanuts, cotton, soybeans, corn, cucumbers, and many others. DNA is playing a major role in this area's current success. Food plants need to thrive in a world where DNA will efficiently and sustainably produce higher yields with less water, less fertilizer, less harm to the environment, and fewer allergy problems. Through education, research, and economic development, we are growing an ecosystem for a growing future. We are proud to announce a partnership with Hudson Alpha to create Hudson Alpha Wiregrass. Hudson Alpha is a nonprofit research institute that focuses on the power of DNA. So DNA is that, that molecule that's inside all cells of all living things that provides instructions that makes a, a peanut plant a peanut plant, but makes you and me who we are as well. The institute really focuses on DNA in three key ways, research, economic development, and education. So we have scientists that are studying how changes in DNA impact um, human health, impact how plants grow, and how we feed and fuel the world. We have over 50 biotech companies on our campus that are focused on how you take the ideas that come out of research spaces and turn those into products that actually improve human life. 
And then our education teams focus on two things. How do we create a society that understands what DNA is and how it changes our lives? And how do we train that next generation of individuals that are going to work in the field of DNA, whether that's as a researcher, whether that's an entrepreneur, a physician, a farmer, a lawyer, any of those pieces. So the Institute is all about the connection between all three of those areas and how we use that synergy powered by our understanding of DNA to tackle some of humanity's most challenging issues. Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotechnology was created with the vision of conducting DNA research that would translate into real-world results. They have had an economic impact of over $3.2 billion on the Alabama economy. 2,300 plus jobs have been created, and more than 50 biotech companies have located to Alabama. Today marks a new opportunity for Dothan and the Wiregrass, and I'm extremely excited about that. I agree, Mark, and, and at the risk of sounding cheesy and borrowing an agricultural phrase, uh, we are at the germination stage something that I think is truly going to be transformative. It's transformative because it takes the power of DNA and tomorrow's technologies and it puts it in the hands of farmers and students and entrepreneurs in the Wiregrass region. Not on the East Coast, not on the West Coast, not in the middle of an academic center, but in the middle of our communities. We've had so many wonderful conversations with educators, with school administrators, with leaders, places like Wallace Community College, all focused on how do we provide opportunities for our students for tomorrow. Those messages, they resonate with what we try to do at Hudson Alpha. And every place we've been in the Wiregrass, it dovetails beautifully with what Hudson Alpha is about, what we want to accomplish, and why it makes so much sense for this to be our first major expansion. The new home for Hudson Alpha Wiregrass will be housed in the new Wiregrass Center for Innovation. Located in downtown Dothan, this space will include wet labs, offices, and other infrastructure required in a modern space of innovation. One of the things that I love about the concept of an innovation center is that it puts a very clear exclamation point on, this is an area that is all about innovation and has historically, you can't be in agriculture and not have to innovate over and over and over. Now we're looking at innovating with a new set of technologies, a new set of tools. Hudson Alpha is excited about being part of an innovation center, but bringing other colleagues, other groups. I'm excited about the other people you'll be able to bring in there and the interaction and the ideas that will flow with Hudson Alpha and with other groups. I think that's such a beautiful way to create a shared space where ideas can come together and new ones can be born. What an exciting time, growing an ecosystem for a growing future. We know our DNA will have a major role, and Dothan is prepared to be a part of this exciting future. I love Dothan. I, I love the people of Dothan. Uh, I love our community. And it's extremely important for me to be able to help Dothan provide the opportunities for our youth going forward in the future. I can't think of anything else that'll be as transformative for us as this collaboration uh, going forward. Right now, Dothan is the right time. We are the right place. It's the right people. That is one of the very first things you said to me when we met, Mark. And it is so true. As we think about this next step, the Wiregrass is the right place. This is the right time for that. And between our teams and your teams, we have the right people to do that work. Dothan, right time, right people, right place. It's great when you have a slogan that people can remember. It's even greater when you have a slogan that people can remember that's absolutely positively true. Uh, and, and that's exactly what you have here. 
Um, I was delighted 10 months ago to hear from my friend uh, Matt Parker about the opportunity and to be uh, have a very small role in this. Now uh, you get a chance to hear from two of the key principals that made all this happen. First you'll hear from Mayor Saliba and then uh, after the mayor you'll hear from Dr. Uh, Neil Lamb. If you would join me in welcoming the mayor to the microphone. Woo, man, I'm glad y'all clapped because I thought I'm going to have to be all professional and official and my heart is about to beat out of my chest. Greg, I can't thank you enough for, for being here today and being a part of this. Uh, I also can't thank you enough of, through all of your leadership and economic development through the years. You have been a force for our state and we are very appreciative of that. Um, I am going to recognize a few people. Now, I'm, it's going to be hard to recognize everybody that was a part of this effort because this was a large endeavor and continues to be so. And this is just the beginning. But I wanted to at least uh, uh, acknowledge a few people. And they are down front in the first two rows. Uh, we have, uh, if the lights were up and we could see uh, a little bit. Uh, I want to uh, recognize, first off, 280 days ago, Dr. Marnix Hearsink was the one who brought us all together. And he held a, a meeting uh, at his office that set in motion this announcement that's today. And, and in looking for quotes that could describe what I think is um, Dr. Hearsink, uh, it comes from Ralph Waldo Emerson, and it says this, do not follow where the path may lead, but go instead where there is not a path and leave a trail. And Dr. Hearsink, we want to thank you for your leadership and that vision and helping us to, to find that path and to blaze that trail for others. So if you would have joined me in thanking Dr. Hearsink as well. And while we are just as proud as Dr. Hearsink here in the Dothan area and as well as in the state, Mr. Jim Hudson, who is seated next to Marnix Hearsink, is also a wonderful community man and person of vision. If, if you want to meet two people that have some of the greatest vision that I have been around, it's these two individuals that are seated down front. Mr. Hudson, just like Marnix is grounded in, 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 the, in the science and, and medicine, but has that business mind and acumen and vision for bringing them all together for, for very positive, innovative, and, and entrepreneurial results. All of this today is possible because of the efforts of Mr. Jim Hudson and the late Lonnie McMillan when they created the perfect recipe in the founding and creating of the Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotechnology. Mr. Hudson, we are grateful for not only this opportunity, but what you have done for the state of Alabama and, and this country as well. So thank you. If we could give him a round of applause. And a mayor is only a face. And it's all with the work is done by a city commission. And I want to acknowledge if they would please stand. I would love my city commission to please stand as, as well. And let's give them a round of applause. Because it is great to be a part of a wonderful team that loves Dothan and loves Houston County and loves the Wiregrass area and wants us to continue to grow like we are today. I would like also to thank the greatest, I know I can say this because I'm in my hometown, the greatest state delegation that there is, and that's our Wiregrass delegation. If you guys uh, would please stand as well, representatives and Senator, uh, Senator Chastain, Senator Beasley, <laughs> Representative Sarr, Representative Lee, Representative Grimsley. They, are, they do a lot of work with the city and the county and, and our area, and we are blessed to have them each and every day. And I would be remiss if I did not say how big of a partner in the community that we have in the Wiregrass Foundation. 
Since its inception, it has done so much for our community. And, and, we have, and they have been a part of this uh, endeavor from the day one, as well as our work in our, in our city center project. So I know I have some board members. If you would, please stand. I don't want to call you. I'm, please, thank you. And these are all people that exemplify what we have talked about, and that is loving our community and trying to figure out ways that we can continue to grow as well. On October 26th of last year, when I heard Dr. Neil Lamb and, and Carter Wells talk about Hudson Alpha and the work that, that they were doing in plant health and the success they had have had in recruiting entrepreneurs and biotech companies, 50 now, and the difference that they were making in people's lives, I knew, I knew right then that this was a path that we wanted to have and help blaze for Dothan in the Wiregrass area. So today's announcement for a partnership between the city of Dothan and the Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotechnology is built on that premise that research and development, science and the work that surrounds those disciplines can change the world and is changing the world. So today, a new economy, a new ecosystem is rooted in innovation, growth and education Take, takes hold in our area. And it will take hold in our schools. It will take hold in our, in our agricultural fields. And it will take hold in a new Wiregrass Innovation Center with the jobs of tomorrow. This new economy is an investment. It's an investment in our human capital. It's an investment in ourselves. And it's an investment in Dothan. It's an investment in Dothan in Houston County. It's an investment in this whole Wiregrass area. And that is why we are calling it Hudson Alpha Wiregrass, because it is a regional effort. It is transformational, and it lights a path for our next generation. I have spent my whole life in the home building business, and any good builder will tell you that the most important part of building a well-built home is the foundation. The new Hudson Alpha Wiregrass partnership is that cornerstone. Now, if you know what a cornerstone is, if you study the word, you know how important that cornerstone is in, in any foundation. Like th this cornerstone will stand the test of time. And this cornerstone is one that this is not the end. This is the beginning that we build on. As Dr. Lamb had indicated that, that we are wanting to, to bring other entities into this area to to take on this work that we are uh, fortunate and blessed to have with Hudson Alpha. Personally, it is what I love about Dr. Lamb, about Mr. Jim Hudson and the Hudson Alpha team is that they have a genuine care, concern and compassion in making lives better and creating opportunities for everyone. And it's this cornerstone that shines like a beacon to the rest of the state and says, our time in Dothan, Houston County, and the Wiregrass is now. It is our time to show the rest of the state that we have the desire, we have the drive, the innovative spirit, and the entrepreneurship to participate and contribute to our state that we love by creating a more resilient, inclusive, and robust economy through innovation in the Wiregrass area. Our city, our county, and our region are at a crossroads to embrace growth and opportunities that we have never seen. We are in a place to make a big and bold decisions that can transform our community. And we are at that moment to ask ourselves this challenging question. And it's the one that I ask nearly every day. What do we want Dothan and the Wiregrass to be for our next generation? So today, we answer in the affirmative for a new economy with a vision rooted in the hopes and the dreams and the accomplishments of Jim Hudson and Lonnie McMillian. Welcome to the Wiregrass Hudson Alpha. Thank you. At this moment, really, I simply need to say what he said and sit down. That was spectacular. Thank you, Mark. 
Good morning, everybody. It is fantastic to be with you. And the energy and the enthusiasm uh, in this space as, as you greeted each other, as you talked about what you're excited about, what's going on as you caught up with each other. I expected somebody to pull out some banana pudding and, you know, <laughs> some, and, and some barbecue and, and off we go. But that's one of the things that I absolutely have come to love and cherish about the city of Dothan and about the Wiregrass. And that's the sense of community and togetherness and relationships that you have crafted. You know, anytime you work on a collaboration of this magnitude, you spend a lot of time with all the stakeholders together around lots of tables. Some of those tables are in conference centers. Some of those tables are in restaurants. Some of those tables are getting up and moving around and having discussions. And it has been an incredible pleasure to get to know the leaders of the city of Dothan, of Houston County, and of the larger Wiregrass area. And that starts with Mark Saliba, who I have found to epitomize servant leadership. He continually seeks ways to create opportunities that bring value to the citizens of Dothan. You just heard the voice of a man who cares passionately about you and about your children and your neighbors and your grandchildren and the people that have yet to come to this place but will because of initiatives like the thing that we've just that we are announcing today. I am honored, Mark, to work alongside you as we strive to make Hudson Alpha Wiregrass a reality. Thank you. It is also an incredible joy to work with the city and county and surrounding county leadership. Matt Parker, Dean Mitchell, Colton Curitan from the Chamber of Commerce, City Manager Kevin Cowper, each of the members of the Dothan City Legislation, the Houston County Commission, each of the members of the Dothan City Commission. Gentlemen, I just gave you a promotion, I suppose, by moving you to the legislation, each of the commissioners, the Houston County Commissioners and Houston County Chairman Mark Culver. Now to the Alabama Legislative Delegation seated in the second row. Thank you so much for the enthusiasm and the energy that you have brought to these conversations. Each of you have made connections with other people in the state that have, have enlarged the impact of Hudson Alpha Wiregrass, um, and, and thank you for that support. The same attitude extends to other leaders in agriculture, education, commerce, and philanthropy. And that certainly includes Troy Fountain with the Wiregrass Foundation and the Wiregrass Foundation members. The Downtown Redevelopment Team, Wallace Community College and Dr. Linda Young, Chris Parker and the Wiregrass Research and Extension Center. Each one of these individuals have looked for ways to add to what we are trying to create, to enlarge the circle. And like Mayor Saliba, I would like to extend a special word of appreciation to Dr. Marnix Hearsink and the entire Hearsink family. He was the first that embraced the idea of a collaboration between Hudson Alpha and the city of Dothan in the Wiregrass region. And then, as Dr. Hearsink so often does, said, I wonder if, and proceeded to enlarge the vision of what we had crafted and challenge us to do something even bigger. Marnix, thank you for that enthusiasm, for that leadership, and for helping us craft that vision. It is rare to find a community where your leaders on every level collaborate and work together for a common vision. We are fortunate to have that in Huntsville, and I know how rare it is. It is a true gift, and it is a blessing that you have so many people that advocate in support of you and your communities. And we are incredibly honored to become a part of that with the announcement of Hudson Alpha Wiregrass and bringing the power of Hudson Alpha into this area. As you heard from the video, we're a nonprofit institute focused on the synergy that happens between research, economic development, and education, specifically in the field of genomics. DNA science. But what that fancy sentence that I just said really means is that we look for the power of and. Not simply this or this or this, but what happens when you bring this and this and this together. 
and you create something that is larger than the sum of the individual pieces. That synergy happens when people intentionally work together to enlarge the opportunities and create the power of AIM. It's something that we've been a part of at Hudson Alpha for the last 15 years, thanks to the foresight of co-founders Jim Hudson and the late Lonnie McMillan. Creating a biotechnology hub that has led to hundreds of scientific advances, dozens of education programs that globally reach millions of people every year, the recruitment of nearly 50 biotechnology companies and more than 1,100 people that now come to work on the Hudson Alpha campus every single day. Today's announcement brings that same synergy, that power of and, to the Alabama Wiregrass with a specific focus on agriculture. So what does this look like? What does this mean for you and for me and for our citizens? Well, it starts with research and discovering the ways to use genomic information to improve crops that are grown in the wiregrass in the surrounding regions. Unlocking the secrets of those DNA recipes. And we could pull out a whiteboard and talk about DNA and we could pull some slides out. I can give a mean talk about genetics and genomics. But I promise I am not gonna do that to you today. That'll be a public outreach piece that we'll have a little bit later on. But the power of the DNA recipes, unlocking the secrets of those DNA recipes transforms agriculture. We'll now be able to read the genetic recipe of dozens of a single variety of plant and identify those genetic changes that let this particular variety grow well in salty soil. This particular variety thrive under drought conditions. And this one be resistant to pests and disease. Knowing that sort of information dramatically speeds the process to produce healthier, hardier crops, ornamental plants, and timber. And Hudson Alpha is a world leader in this field. Of all the hundreds of plants who've had their genomes analyzed, more than half of those have taken place under the very skillful and watchful eyes of our researchers. But again, following on the power of and, Hudson Alpha Wiregrass will also seek ways to take these findings, as well as new ideas and approaches that are present here in the Wiregrass, and turn them into tools and technologies that move agriculture forward. New ways of farming, new ways of extracting information and data that helps farmers. New products from plants and from things that we typically might throw away from the leftovers of plants. Growing the region's bioscience economy includes launching new companies and recruiting existing ones. And Carter Wells, Hudson Alpha's Vice President for Economic Development, is a master at this. He and his team are already working with regional stakeholders to bring the business of biotech here to the region. Lastly, continuing with the power of and, the wiregrass, Hudson Alpha Wiregrass will focus on cultivating the workforce to fill these jobs created by the expanding science and the economic development components. STEM education is near and dear to my heart. And from the many conversations I've had with several of you in this room, I know you care deeply about this as well. What are the opportunities ahead for our students? How do we help them understand the potentials that these fields can unlock and the pathways that they can take to have those jobs and to have those jobs here? We'll support local educators with hands-on opportunities, hands-on activities to use in their classrooms about genetics and biotech. We'll have student-led projects that link today's discoveries to tomorrow's applications. And over time, we'll offer field trips and summer camps and multi-week academy programs and internship opportunities here for students in the Wiregrass, showing them opportunities that are available in their community with this incredible cutting edge field. All these will be in partnership with our local public, private, and homeschool groups, as well as regional higher education groups like Wallace Community College. These efforts intersect and strengthen each other. Again, the power of and, each interacting with the other. For example, students will develop new varieties of peanuts based on input from growers, consumers, and genetic researchers like Hudson Alpha's Dr. Josh Clevenger, who is one of the world's foremost experts on the peanut. Entrepreneurs and local ag tech employers will help shape what the hands-on instruction and certification and internship and workforce development programs will look like in our community to meet their specific needs. All built on the Wiregrass's solid foundation of ag. 
there are enormous opportunities that await us just within our grasp because of the power of and because of our ability to work together hudson alpha and the wiregrass research and economic development and education and community and support the ability to harness the power of genomic information is available for students, innovators, out-of-the-box thinkers here in the community. You heard me say in the video, not just on the East Coast or the West Coast or in major academic centers, but here on our streets, in our spaces, in our fields, and in our classrooms. Before I hand the microphone back and we move on, I'd like to say two final words of thanks. My mom always says, start and end with thank yous. So to Catherine Hall Kripalani and to Bob Kripalani, thank you for the many hours that you have spent helping bring us to this place, which started years ago with a conversation on an airplane headed overseas about, wow, wouldn't it be amazing to think about things that might happen in Catherine's hometown of Dauphin. And Greg, thank you for you and your amazing team at EDPA. Throughout the process, we have benefited from Greg's guidance, from his insight, and from his wisdom. Greg and EDPA are enormous assets for the state of Alabama. And we are incredibly blessed to have them not only cheering us on, but helping us as we move forward. And with that, thank you for being here, for loving your community, for caring about opportunities in the future, and for being willing to step into and embrace something that might not be a part of your everyday kitchen table conversation. I'm willing to bet that the concepts of biotech and genomics-enabled plant selection are not things that just flow off your tongue. But you love your community and you see opportunities and you embrace those, and this is your moment. So thank you to you. And now I think we're gonna take just a quick moment to rearrange the stage so that we can pull out the table and get ready to sign our MOU. So Mark, as you said in the opinion on the editorial pages this morning, let's get to work. <laughs> That concludes the program. Uh, be safe going home. Thank you for joining us. Uh, for the uh, reserve seating on the first two rows, if you would please hang tight. There are going to be some pictures, but everyone else, please be safe going home. Thank you.